I guess the developers at Ubisoft is going to make Yasuke and Naoe part of the LGBTQ+, which is pretty crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So we're here to come to us from that park place. So Ubisoft appears to confirm Assassin's Creed Shadows protagonist Yasuke and Naoe are LGBTQ+. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. I, wonder, I wonder if Yasuke was actually LGBTQ, uh, you know, 500 years ago. <laughs> uh broke black mountain <laughs> oh fuck in a blog post the company's website published may 15th the company declared now and yasuke's uh disparate personalities also l uh, lead them to have different relationships and r reports rapports with other characters and they don't always feel the same way about people nor do people always feel the same way about them next they discuss romance options why uh romantically they will also attract and be attracted by uh, two different types of people through the pair players will get to experience a multitude of relationships wait so for people who have actually played assassin's creed is there a dating sim can you date people and like have big sex with them because I might actually play. Yeah, Elden Wing. Yeah, big Elden Wing. You have to play Elden Wing. See, this revelation comes amid Ubisoft contra uh, contracting with Darth Maul associate professor Sachi Schmidt Hori. Sachi Schmidt Hori is an LGBTQ activist with her biography on Darth Maul's website, reading, I am interested in investigating how gender, sexuality, corpor corporeality, and power are represented and negotiated in pre-17th century Japanese narratives and illustrations. My first books, Tales of Idolized Boys, Male and Male, Male Love. Oh my god. This person works on the game? Wow. Okay, now now we know why the game is freaking insane. Oh man, um, which often depict romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and adolescent boys. Yeah, of course you'll be into that kind of shit. Um, these tales challenge a host of normative and moral standards. We academics, especially internalized, uh, including such ideas as sexual orientation, transgenerational sex, and sexual agency. Wait, are you saying that she's a pedophile? It continues, my current project is on the literary representations of milk kinship. Well, how big are these, how big are these milkers, though? And, okay, never mind. It's from a long time ago. It's probably saggy-ass titties. Including the tale of Ochi Kubo, the tale of, Je of Genji, sorry, Genji, and the tales of uh, Heike. Okay, the website also reveals that the classes... She teaches introduction to Japanese culture, languages, and scripts of gender clash. I'm sorry, class and nation, gender, sexuality, and power in pre-modern Japan, classical Japanese language, grammar, and translation work. Do, do not let your kids go to college. Holy shit, man. Don't let your kids go to college. Yeah, she looks into how old dudes had sex with boys. Oh my god, dude. Jesus, the thinking of contemporary issues of Japan through graphic novels and manga. No, the official description of the publisher Tales of the Idolized Boy, University of Hawaii Press Review, Schmidt Hori calls for a shift in hermeneutic strategies. Hermeneutic strategies applied to Chigo and Chigo, uh, Monogato uh, Monogatari, and puts forth both a nuanced historic. Uh, historicization and uh, social constructs such as gender, sexuality, age, and agency, and a mode of reading propelled by curiosity and introspection. What the fuck, dude? Early in descriptions, it states, Sachi Schmidt Hori begins to uh, delineating various dimensions of Chigo and Chigo's title, personal names, gender, sexuality, class, politics, and religiosity. Uh, to show the complexity of this cultural construct, Chigo as a triply liminal figure who is neither male nor female, so non-binary, 
uh child nor adult oh so basically like a like a weird fuck in modern recession of history of chigo uh, Monogatari follows revealing, not surprisingly, the tales have often been interpreted through cultural paradigms rooted in historical moments and worldviews far removed from the original. So basically, she basically got extremely high and wanted to read a bunch of these crazy ass book about pedophiles. Right? Word salad trying to normalize ped uh, yeah, pedophilia. Holy shit, man. More recently, aversions to age gap in historical master acolyte relations have prevented scholars from analyzing the religious and political messages underlying the genre. Along with the tales of idolized boys, Sachi Hori's other, sorry, yeah, Schmidt Hori's other publish, published works include Yoshitsune and the Gender Transformation of a Japan's Self Image. Of course, she wants these video game characters. I'm pretty sure it's this Asian chick over here. Of course, she wants gay shit to be implemented in video games. It's because it's fucking indoctrination. Holy crap! The Transfiguration uh, of Chigo and the medieval Japanese short story Ishibiki. I mean, Ashibiki. Not only the company contracted with the radical LGBTQ plus activist who appears to be promoting transgenerational sex an alleged internal document shared to social media by Jeremy Hambley from The Quartering in April detailed, we are proud to present, uh, sorry, represent the diversity and inclusion that exists in society as part of our everyday work. Representation is a part of our DNA and will remain that way regardless of external pressure or influences. It concluded, Ubisoft firmly stands for diversity and inclusion in our works, uh, workplace and our games, and we believe there is no room for hate in gaming. Oh, my God. this is insane. Yeah, Yasuke had no skill with sword, but, hi but highly unlikely he could even stand up to a real samurai. As far as I have read, only four Europeans were samurai, no black dudes. Here's the thing. Um, him trying to be a samurai is, is cope to a lot of people a lot of these crazy people who are online who are like spearheading oh yeah there, he actually was a samurai a retainer means samurai and then he actually if you actually look at actual depictions of yasuke is him holding an, an, an umbrella for nobunaga yeah uh, as noted by catholic answers a uh, homosexual behaviors is sinful every human is being uh, every human being is called to receive a gift of divine sonship, to become a child of God by grace. However, to receive this gift, we must reject sin, including homosexual behavior, that is, acts intended to arouse or stimulate a sexual response regarding a person of the same sex. The Catholic Church teaches that such acts are always violations of divine and natural law. Now, here's the thing. As a person who don't really give a fuck about if you're gay or not, like do whatever the fuck you want, right? In the privacy of your own home. You can love whoever you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Just don't shove that shit down my throat. But the thing is that you are shoving this shit down my throat by putting it in video games that I consume. Right? Now, um, you know, the thing is that I'm not going to buy this game. I'm not going to be spending $130 to buy this game. Hundred, you know, $110, $70. No, I think this is a big, big waste of money. But hey, if you want to buy the game more power to you, if you like gay stuff, it is, you know, you 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 can have unadulterated sex with one another's uh pingus McDingus. What do you make of Assassin's Creed Strato appearing to make the main characters LGBTQ plus? Now, I think this is extremely, extremely disrespectful of Yasuke. Because he is a historical figure, right? He is an actual person. And the fact that you are making him gay, trans, queer, or whatever it is, is pretty nutty. But the thing is, the what's more shocking is Schmidt Hori's background being a pedophile. Or actually, not her being a pedophile, but she's pro-pedophilia. Uh, you know, she she loves pedophiles and stuff like that. She's like, I want to see what makes your dick hard, it's it's really weird. And I want to see how men and men and women and women can have sex with one another. And I want to put that shit into my games I'm working on. So the thing is, we do know that this game and Ubisoft is tied to Sweet Baby Inc. already. We do, we do know that shit. And it's sad, man. The thing is that when we finally get a game that actually has Japanese cool shit, right? An assassin, immediately you think of ninjas. You think of shinobi. You think of all that kind of stuff. And now you're making a game 
that a lot of people are upset at and relatively is divided. There are people who are going to buy it because they want to make sure that the numbers are up. And there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to play it at all. And, you know, and it's, it's just, it is what it is. But the thing is, you are making a mockery of Yasuke's legacy and lineage. Whether, whether you like Yasuke or not, like you're making, you're making him a gay, uh, a gay boy, basically, you know, or a bi, or, or, you know, you know, bi, or, or, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe his dick is too long, he's gonna perform seppuku on his own penis, it's because it's too long, and then he's like, oh no, what should I do now, yeah, so the, what they're gonna do is I'm gonna become, you know, make a bonus hole, yeah, 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 oh, so destiné, bonus hole, so destiné, so basically, that's what's gonna happen, that's how I feel it's gonna happen, I think, I think this is ridiculous, the thing is that the game is fake, I'm not gonna indulge it and play it or anything like that, but yeah, it's, it's pretty damn wild, man.